The doctor told me that I would probably never have children, let alone live to be 30. He was wrong. Our first Christmas morning is when Gail woke up and couldn't see a thing. I was nearly four months pregnant and the doctors had seen something in my eyes that they were suspect about. And so they ran a whole gamut of tests that took all day long. And after all the tests, I was sitting in the exam room waiting for the doctor to come back in. He said, Gail, you have to choose today between your baby or your eyes. I said, the choice is made, I choose my baby. Doctor stood up, slammed shut my folder and said, what a foolish decision. And he left me alone. Growing up, we didn't really notice that there was a disability. It was very much like group effort, group involvement. I never knew mom was blind. Our normal was just living life and we helped each other out. Connor and I would change jackets. I would stand up on my tippy toes and then Lydia would like crouch down. Because we wanted to see if mom could really tell the difference in us. And she could tell every time and we would laugh about it. There would be times where she'd be talking to a neighbor in our driveway. I decided to ride the garage door all the way up into the garage. So she turns around and my feet are just dangling. So there's a lot of things that I think it's a miracle mom didn't see because I was doing it. There was nothing easy about this. It was, um, you know, real life happening right in our faces. One thing that I have found is that when you live life based only on what you see, it's always limited and definitely confining and usually disappointing. But when you live with vision, the sky's the limit. I've always told my children, you were born on purpose, with purpose, for a purpose. And what a difference when you know that. You're not just here existing. You really have value. A lot of times people ask me, Gail, how can you have so much joy and you can't see? I ask them, how can you see and have no joy? I mean, there was a constant encouragement to each other. There was a constant uplifting. And even in those moments of tears and sorrow, there was, um, there was a joy of, hey, we can do this and we'll do it together. I feel like we have this advantage on life because our blind mom taught us to see. She taught us to see people. She taught us to see need, just through her life. I always knew that life had to be the better gift. And I can tell you that in my darkest hour, vision was birthed. And when you have vision, you can see in the darkest places of life.